topic of discussion in in doubly linked list we will understand how to print element of doubly linked list so prior to this what we have understood that how to create doubly linked list and we have also seen how menu works fine so i have tried my level best to explain you both no no both how how this both are working uh, synchronously now my job is how to print the element of linked list finally what we'll do so in doubly linked list we'll see the menu so we have a menu i've already explained you the menu i request you to kindly watch my first video again i'll you know give you a short brief description of menu in function main i have created a variable uh, then we have a loop which is always true because while one means condition always condition always true condition is always true the moment condition is always true i'll ins enter inside the while loop there is one for create two for print three for insert four five delete five for exit enter your choice means somebody is asking what do you want to do since i have to print so what i'll do i'll press 2 the moment i press 2 ch will have to switch will have to i'll jump to case 2 and in case 2 i'm calling a function i'm calling a function name print so what will happen i'm calling a function print function so there is a print function now in print function i've created a pointer ptr of type node 1 of type node 1 means this ptr is of type node, node 1 what is node 1 i have already explained you when we are creating a linked list we have created a structure now this structure have three part one data and two address one is address of next node one is address of previous node and i have represented i have created a variable of this structure is node 1 and by type defining it by type defining this and i have type defined it so by type defining it means i this entire structure is represented by node 1 so if I do not use type def, then instead of this node one, I have to write struct node. So in order to simplify the code, I have used type def. Fine. Okay. Now let's understand. We have a linked list. We have a doubly linked list like this, and we have to print the element. So uh, first of all, I'll check is there a linked list. If head is equal to null, suppose head is null. So what I'll do? I'll print list is empty. Is head null? No, head is not null because there is hundred in head. So this will not get executed. I'll move to the else part. Fine. Okay. Now I am using for loop for printing the linked list. So for PTR is equal to head. What I am initializing first part I am initializing PTR. So PTR is a pointer. I am initializing with head. What is head hundred? So PTR will come to the node having address hundred. Fine. Second I will check the condition. Is PTR not null? Yes, PTR not null because the value of PTR is hundred. The value of PTR is hundred. Fine. So condition becomes true. The moment condition become true, I'll move inside. And what I'll do, I'll print PTR data. What is PTR data? 4. So 4 will get printed. And what is this tab? Tab will give the space. So some space. It will look nice now when you will print the linked list. You, you need some space. You know? uh, element have a space. It will look very clearly. So this tab will give you a space. What I'll do, I'll move and increment. And in increment what I'm finding, there is a updation of PTR. PTR will update. Is updated by PTR next. PTR have PTR next. So what is PTR next? 200. So PTR move from this node to 200 node. Finally, I'll again check second condition. Is PTR not null? Yes, PTR is not null because PTR is 200. Condition becomes again true. I'll move inside and print PTR data. What is PTR data now? 5. So I'll put fi print 5. By tab, I'll give the space. I'll give the space. Fine. Okay. What I'll do? I'll increment PTR. So what is PTR? PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? 300. So PTR will move from this to 300 node. Again, I'll check is PTR not null? Yes, PTR is not null because PTR is 300. The condition become true. I'll move inside and I'll print PTR data. What is PTR data now? 6. So I'll print 6. This tab will give me the space. I'll put the space. Again, I'll in increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? 400. So PTR will move from this to node 400. Again, I'll check the second condition. Is PTR not null? Yes, PTR not null. So what I'll do, I'll again print PTR data. What is PTR data? 7. So I'll print 7 and this tab will give me the space. I'll, I'll give the space. And what I'll do, I'll again increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next? 500. So PTR will move from here to 500 node. That is node which is represented by tail also. Why? Okay, again, I'll check the second condition is PTR not null. Yes, PTR is not null because address of PTR is 500 condition become true. I'll move inside and I'll print PTR data. What is PTR data? PTR data is 8. So I'll print 8. So I'll print 8. Again, I'll give the tab, but there is no use of tab. I'll give the tab. Fine. Okay, I'll increment PTR. PTR will have PTR next. What is PTR next now null? So the current value of PTR become null. Fine. 
I'll move to the second part, second condition. I'll check is PTR not null. Now condition become false. PTR is now null. So I'll move out of for loop. I'll move out of for loop, and there is no end block of print. So I'll come out. So the moment I come out, I have already printed what element of linked list. What is W linked list? That is four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this was very easy. how to print element of doubly linked list and if you have noticed and if you have seen my video of singly linked list the coding of printing is exactly 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 same there i have used the same thing in doubly linked list i have used the same thing but in double in singly circular linked list there was some other condition why in singly circular linked list there was no concept of null because in circular there is no concept of null because in circular you know last node have the address of first node so there was no concept of null so i have used some different concept so but if i talk about this doubly linked list and singly linked list the the, the coding is exactly same there is no difference in coding of print function fine 